2K Sports and the PGA Tour. Proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Genesis Scottish Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Hi Luke and Rich, looking forward to following these two players again as they reignite their rivalry. I have a feeling we'll be in for some more exciting golf as these two battle it out. Well I'm certainly looking forward to following along with these two. This is a rivalry that could be one for the ages. Can't wait to see what sort of excitement they generate. And let's see what he can do here today. Well, what are we looking at with their approach shot, Rich? Green sits slightly above the players. There's bunkers dotting the front left and one just front right. If they do throw it to the left and long, it will come down a pretty good sized slope back onto the center of the green. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. And as we take a look at the leaderboard, and there he is, Will Zalatoris, your leader. And as we head to the second, Rich, the players heading back towards the first tee. Strong par four here, just under 500 yards. There's a bunker down the left-hand side you must avoid if you want a clear opening for your second shot. Narrow fairway up there, a good tee shot's a must. Nicely done. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's looking at perhaps 175, I'd say. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Oh, that's a great shot. It sets up a wonderful birdie look here at the second. This putt is of nine feet. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, what a stroke. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gotta like it. He's feeling it. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Coming off a bogey on the last hole. Still a fair way away from the hole here. Time to make a long putt. Go in. You always like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free. Will Zalatoris currently on top spot as we pause for a look at the leaderboard. As we head to the third hole, Rich, uh, one of the very good scoring opportunities here at the Renaissance Club. Yes, Luke, just about 600 yards or so. Players must hit it out to the left-hand side with their tee shots. Anything right is going to go into a huge cluster of trees where they're going to have all kinds of problems. That a boy, good shot. And here we are with the third shot. Yeah, that one will play. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, he's been prowling around this one. It's 11 foot out. He's staring down a birdie putt here. It's tracking. Fair effort, that. Good birdie.
currently at minus three for the event. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. And as we take a look at the fourth hole, the shortish par four, Rich. Yes, just around the 415 yard mark, players who take out driver and drive it up into the narrow section of the fairway will get a really good look with their second shots. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Lining up here after a bunch of birdies, Rich. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Got to like their chances from there. Oh, good look at a birdie here. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Well, that's an impressive little chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The fifth hole reach a, a really good risk-reward short four. Most players, Luke, should go for this short par four, but watch out for the green because this green has got all kinds of danger on it. Twist, turns, bobs, weaves, ducks, it's got it all. Nicely done. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Let's return to live play now. Second shot here on the fifth. That's a high quality recovery shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Looking ahead now, and this player is currently tied for first in the standings alongside Will Zalatoris. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Going with the eight iron here. I'm pretty sure they had their sights set on hitting the green there. A bit short with that effort. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Such soft hands. He finds himself in a share of the lead. And the seventh on the card, Rich, our second of the uh, opening nine par fives. Yeah, look, a fairly generous driving area. There's just a couple of bunkers you have to worry about. However, you find the fairway. Now your chances of making birdie or better increase significantly. That one's heading down Broadway. Currently minus five. Currently tied for top spot. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Regal.
That's disappointing. Good chance this one, right on six feet. I like the look of this. Well played. And that will take him to six under. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Oh, just missed. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Rich, as we face the eighth hole, what kind of decisions do the players face off the tee? Well, most players aren't able to carry those fairway bunkers basically right in the middle of fairway. So they have to lay up with a three wood or less, find the fairway that cambers pretty significantly from left to right. Oh, absolutely flushed. Playing from around 160 yards. Currently in the lead by a shot. Needs a little ground help to the left. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. This putt to get to seven under the card. This for back to back birdies. Ouch, that hurts. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. The ninth is a strong par three reach, one of the longer ones. It is. There's some bunkers on the right-hand side that you absolutely must avoid. If you miss it on the left-hand side, however, you've got a pitch uphill to a green that will slope away from you. A par here is a really good score. Now yeah, that looked pretty good the whole way. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? Just got to trickle this one in the front door. It's downhill. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And that should secure the par on this one. And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. He's just coming off a drop shot on that last hole. What a... That's outstanding. Mark that down on the highlight reel. And how did that shot impact the score? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. That forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. As we begin the second nine, Rich, the uh, back nine starts with a par five. And a par five that players should be looking to take advantage of. Just tee it up and hit it as hard as you can. Fairway is wide open. Does camber from right to left, so don't get too frisky down that left-hand side. Nicely done. Getting ready to play their third. He leads the field by a stroke. That's a good looking shot there. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And now heading over to Harold Varner the third. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Big time play that one at the right time too. And this is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good.
The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Rich, I know this next hole is one of your favourites, the 11th here at the Renaissance Club. This is one of the coolest holes I've ever played, Luke. It's a dog leg from left to right, fairly generous teeing area. Don't want to miss it too far right, however. But the second shot into the screen, this could be the coolest green I've ever seen. It's got more movement than any other green I've seen in competition. I absolutely love this hole. That's heading for the fairway. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Currently in the lead by a shot. Going with the hybrid. Oh, this would be handy if it could bounce right. This is one of those great ball striking displays. Fairways and greens. A pleasure to watch. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. A birdie putter waits. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And with that hole finished, they're currently sitting in top spot on the leaderboard. Lexi Thompson holds second. The 12th rich, uh, par three, just over 200 yards on the card. You back uphill just a little bit. What really makes this hole difficult, Luke, though, is when the wind is coming directly in the player's face. When that happens, ooh, watch out. This hole is a doozy. Not the result they were after there. It needed to put some draw on that one, but just couldn't get it dialed in. Didn't that look good for a long time? And just about eight feet left to the hole. Trying to save par here. This one's looking good. Nicely hold. And for par. Why don't we catch up with the V-man, Harold Varner the third. Yeah, he just made bogey on that last one. Going with the six iron here. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Another beautiful hole ridge, this one right along the coast, the 13th. Oh, this is breathtaking off the tee, isn't it? But don't let the views suck you in. Even though it's a wide fairway, you got to heat it down the right-hand side as this fairway pitches significantly from right to left. Find the fairway and happy days. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Playing from 110 yards out. He's got a two-stroke buffer. This needs just a little work to the left-hand side. That should set up another chance. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Was on a good line. If you can make this one, it's for par. Unable to take advantage of the great approach there, Rich. Leading by a couple after that hole. And an opportunity awaits as they step onto this tee of the par three. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. 
And now let's head over to Harold Varner III. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? And he's safely on the green. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Looking really good. Oh, what a big putt to make that one. Still in the lead now after that hole. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Good looking shot this. Sitting at nine under, currently leading. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. No harm, no foul there with that shot. What's in front of them, Henny, with this putt? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. That was a gallant attempt. Putting for par. Okay, let's head to the next. Currently in first position. Just a few holes remaining in the round. The 16th hole, one of the last true birdie chances, Rich. It is. Tee it high and let it fly there, Luke. Don't go down the left-hand side and find any of those bunkers. Hit it down the right-hand side, and you got to believe you're going to make, at worst, a birdie four. That's tidy. This shot coming from around 220 yards. Currently leading by two. Now he's got his eyes set on the putting surface. An aggressive play here. Well, that's certainly showcasing all their talents there. That's impressive. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. And the birdie with big wings on the table here if they can make this one. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Little birdie look in here. Oh, nice looking putt. Oh, well played. And now heading over to Harold Varner III. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Let's catch up with Harold Varner. God, saving one there after being all over the parking lot, chipping in for the par. So after that effort, this is the current standings on the course. Our current leader is up by three shots. All right, Rich, the 17th. This is an amphitheater style green. All sides kind of work back towards the green. There is a little front left section, though, when they put the flagstick over there, you have a really good opportunity to hit it in there close. That's a pretty handy shot. A wonderful shot here at the 17th and a chance for birdie. 
This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Looking for another birdie here. Surely it's going to. Oh, that's frustrating. This putt's about four feet from the hole. That will work. Currently 10 under for the round. And as we make our way to the finishing hole here, Rich, how is this 18th at the Renaissance Club? This is an absolute brute, Luke. Just under 500 yards, and you must find the fairway. You cannot geek it down this hole off the tee. There is danger both left and right. And what are we looking at here, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. And choosing the eight iron here. Quality shot, that one. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 16 feet from the cup. Rolling end to end, this looking nice. Oh, so close, but an easy par. And that will do it for this player today.